shock advised. I think we can all agree that on the internet, people always show like the best parts of them. Like, you know, their best foot forward. That's why today, I think the best way to start the vlog is to show you something I wouldn't show you if I had you over as a guest. It's like a dirty secret, like cobwebs in your closet. So what better way to start this vlog than to clean this up? I really need to get in here. That means I have to move all this stuff first. But I probably shouldn't do that wearing yoga pants. Wrapped up getting most of the stuff out of the driveway. It's a long driveway. <sighs> Feels good to be done with that. Now, I'm gonna call someone from a dump pickup service to keep me from the work of having to take the stuff out of here myself. something really gratifying about doing all this work. The reason though, the main reason, a reason, the reason, doesn't matter. One main reason is I need to get to what's behind this door. It's not easy. It's my lathe. Something died. Oh. So. Uh, so it smells bad in here. Part of the reason it's not really clean for working is because there's seasons. There's seasons for our business, seasons for our life. I don't spend a lot of time in here throughout the year. But I do. I do make muddlers. I do make ebony muddlers and maple muddlers for customers, um, but usually it's like, you know, a few a year or, or, you know, batches of 50 or something like that. I enjoy it, but it's quite a lot of work. This space is kind of gonna change. This whole space needs to become, well, somewhere inspiring to work, and it's not that now. It will be though, we're, we're gonna get it cleaned out. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna look good. We essentially have well, two really pressing orders. One that's older, oh, sorry, so sorry. And one that's much newer. Uh, one of our customers uh, has a, he wants to give an ebony muddler to his wife for their five year anniversary, which I, I wanna help him fulfill. So I just, I, ugh. Sourcing ebony is so hard. It's one of those resources that even when you do finally get it, you still have to dry it and it still has to be properly aged. And uh, anyway, so there are a lot of moving parts. I haven't had any ebony for about a year, which is a long time. And so we've kind of been on back order for that, but we haven't also had a million orders for it. So that's the plan. We're gonna clean all this out. Let's go see what Rachel's doing. Oh, hey. So How's it going? What you working on? Oh, uh, we launched our Indiegogo in demand campaign. Here it is. We just got this one in the mail yesterday um, with our updated font and the final um, 
modifications to our design. So this is like our finished, the actual thing that we're gonna be sending out to backers. Um, we did a crowdfunding campaign. We did a Kickstarter for this in November and we funded it successfully. It was really great. And then we went through this whole process of manufacturing, ran into a bunch of challenges. We had to go do like a bunch of backer communication and we had to change some things. Um, here's another one. This is a pretty one in gold. It shows that nice sharp handle of the second samples too. Yeah, so. We did it. We did our initial crowdfunding campaign and now that we've figured out all the kinks with production, we finally started like mass production about two weeks ago. And so we're launching an Indiegogo campaign. This is an in-demand campaign as a follow-up to the Kickstarter where um, people have been just like knocking down our doors on the internet wanting to know how they can get their hands on one even though they're not available yet. So this is the way you can go pre-order one. Um, so we're just setting that up and I have a lot of tasks to do around that. This is my checklist. Um, there are a lot of things now that the campaign is finally live, we have to go and put it on all our socials, tell people about it, and email people that have been asking. So that is my job today. I will be stuck in this space. How many tasks do you have on there? <laughs> this is my short list. This is your short list? Uh, well, this is my to-do list for the day. These are all the other things I have to do. And then this first one is the Indiegogo launch, which subdivides into this list. That this yeah. is subdivided from this. Yeah, this is, it's like, this is like. So you don't have much to do. No, I don't have a lot. I have two boxes checked so far. <laughs> I had to clean out my shed. That's it. That's that's one task. <laughs> so, because this can be kind of tedious and it's a lot of slogging through, like I made all of my custom metric linked links and I have, so I'm gonna be just like digging into spreadsheets and distributing these all throughout um, the interwebs. It can be very tedious and so I am trying to keep things lively. I've got my Spotify electronic music station on right now and I'm- Electronic. Oh, it's so good. This really keeps me going. <laughs> so you get back to work too. stuff done and then Sean came in. Sean came in and he was so dejected uh. <laughs> he was so sad first of all he needed to eat some food but it's secondly um, he needed a break and so I brought him out here into some outside space clear his mind he was getting really depressed working out there and um, we chatted about some things while he ate some chili that I thought were important to share um, why was that so hard for you? I mean, we're still in the middle of it. I'm not done. So I thought it was gonna be, I knew that he was gonna be cleaning out the workshop today, and I thought it was gonna be like super fun and therapeutic, because it's always good to just like get all that stuff out and have a clean space. He could listen to podcasts and music. That's not how it turned out. <laughs> well, I mean, a part of it, a part of it is that there's so many layers to getting all this stuff out of the shop and to get it clean again and to be honest it's just something died in there it was a squirrel it's very sad r.i.p i'm sure he ate my bird seed at one point so this is maybe like bouncing it out that's uh, that's not nice that don't say that 
I'm doing the work now to set myself up for later when I'm gonna use this space creatively. Like, we're gonna be doing a lot more filmmaking and, and creative work, and you can't do that consistently unless you have a space for it. The level of granularity that I have to hit to get this to be clean and nice looking is so, it's boring for me to emphasize, but but it, it's a... Uh... Analyzing now, check for pulse. He just needed a break, so we take a, a break. visual break in the garden, get some perspective. The project is not even close to being done. Um, but we caught up, I shared with him some of the things I've been working on. I said, I'm doing to our website what you're doing to our workshop, which is really kind of like gutting it of a lot of old stuff, old content old, old messaging that was just kind of hidden there. Like if websites could have cobwebs, we had some. <laughs> we had some. It's a cleanup day for us, and it's not always fun. I really wanted it to be fun. I mean, I, I wanted to listen to music and, and maybe some podcast stuff, but my phone was dying and it was dirty in there, and, and I'm hot, and I probably got sunburned this morning, and I was doing a time lapse for the driveway cleanup, and I'm not sure if it worked. So I'm just like overthinking everything and not relaxing. So I got, I was making some B-roll of lighting incense and I was lighting incense because, yeah, it used to make me feel kind of zen when I put it on in the workshop, but today I was using it to cover up the smell of lay squirrel. And <laughs> it was a sizable amount of smell. And it's so it's just not, but I'm, I'm invested in it, and I'm gonna finish, and it's gonna look great. But it's painful sometimes because you want to jump straight to the creative part, and I, we've been through this many times. You want to jump straight to the creative part because that's the most fulfilling. But sometimes you have to do the hard work to get to the place where you now can be creative. The other thing that Shawn Michael was frustrated about that he said to me was, he said, I only want to make beautiful content. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit more about that? We don't want to show this stuff. Like this, this is, it's not something that I want you to see and it's not something that I necessarily want to share, but we are sharing it because it's vital and it's work that everyone has to do to some capacity in order to be effective in the future. And so that's why I'm okay with continuing to invest in it, but it doesn't mean that it's easy, and it doesn't mean that it's not painful. It, ha it carries with it a specific kind of reward, and so that's why I'll finish. That's why I'm okay with continuing. But and why you're okay with showing... It's, I mean, it's, it's on a level where... <laughs> the skeletons. <laughs> saying that it's embarrassing isn't really quite the right thing to say, right? Because it's not... Everyone has a, a broom closet or something that's not completely clean while well, I mean, at least most of my friends do. We mostly make pretty things. And this vlog is going to be an exploration of all things that go into um, running a business and making life happen and pursuing, like, what is part of that pursuit of art and creativity and passion? What are, sometimes you have to roll up your sleeves and get dirt up to your elbows in order to make progress through and slog through some of that stuff. And so, yeah, we're just here to show it. I'm not trying to like bear myself or anything. That's like, <laughs> I don't even like that word. B-A-R-E. -E. Uh -huh. We've been through this sort of thing enough times to where I know, we know, that this is right before something good. Rachel just said, maybe you should go get some B-roll in the garden, you'll feel better. Like, create something beautiful. And while that's tempting, I think the right thing to do is to push through. I think I need to find something in here that I can make inspiring, even though I may not necessarily feel inspired in here. So we're gonna do that. But I think maybe, can I at least sweep the floor first, or? Well, I'm gonna sweep the floor.